Godzilla Earth is most certainly going to be a devastating threat toward all of humanity for the upcoming Godzilla Battle Mobile Breeding City. We witnessed him kick ass for the Monster Planet film, as he is a hyper-evolved plant-based organism, unable to be detected by their heat radiation sensitivity devices, as he refused to release the substances necessary in order to be detected. Detected. He also was the largest Godzilla yet, standing 300 freaking meters tall. Certainly a being to be reckoned with. Godzilla Earth was related to Godzilla Phileas, who was also in the Godzilla Monster Planet film, only several times smaller than Godzilla Earth, with less abilities. However, humankind ended up destroying Godzilla Phileas toward the end of the Monster Planet film. Godzilla Earth possesses many attributes attributes, including his tail plasma blade, where he's able to whip it faster than the speed of sound, causing shock waves throughout. He also has a particle charged breath, where not only is it the atomic breath that we are used to seeing Godzilla with, but also it emits particles, racking havoc on anything he emits it at. He's able to blast out an electromagnetic pulse, similar to what the Mutos were able to do in the legendary Godzilla film in 2014. And he doesn't have a skeletal frame, as he is made up of root-like substances and structures throughout. Much like the Servum, he has a metallic-like tissue to where his body tissue is integrated with metallic fibers, which allows for him to support his massive weight along with allowing for capabilities of channeling his EMP blast. And he emits thermal radiation, which affects anyone who goes near him. It just seems to me that this is the most powerful Godzilla yet, and the most durable. I have no idea how humanity is going to fare against him. We know that they will most likely make a Mecha Godzilla for the upcoming sequel to Monster Planet, but this Godzilla, Godzilla Earth, possesses many abilities that would easily overpower any Mechagodzilla to date and make quick waste of them. Humankind will have to make a Mechagodzilla that's able to withstand these sort of attributes, and it seems to me that their chances will be nigh. But what do you guys think? What kind of Mechagodzilla is going to be able to compete with this Godzilla Earth? Let me know in the comments section below, and like this damn video if you haven't yet. I am the Iceman. More videos to come.